respectfully to the time that and I do appreciate it. I nominate Steve Creasy. Say aye. Aye. Three. Uh, nominate three in favor, two nays. So, Mr. K.K. Matthews, you are now president. And if you could uh, take it from here to uh, proceed to vice president, the nomination. I can turn it over to you. Congratulations. We'll open up nominations for Vice President. I'd like to nominate Don Martin. I'd like to nominate Ray Corey. Great. Would you like to nominate him? No. Don, would you like to nominate him? No. Okay. Nomination is closed. Um, is there a motion for the nomination to be closed? I move that they nominate to be closed. Yes, sir. All those in favor? Aye. So let's proceed with Donna Martin. The first one on the list was Donna Martin. Donna Martin. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. The first one on the list was Donna Martin. Um, all those in favor of Donna Martin being the vice president? Aye. Aye. We have two eyes. Move to the second name. I believe that was Frank Curry. So, all those in favor of Frank Curry being the vice president, please say aye. 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 So, we have three, yes, we have three ayes, we have two noes. So, Frank Curry will now resume the responsibility of the vice president. Uh, second order of business is the committee of 55. Um, we have a motion um, for nominations. We need a nominations for the committee of 55. So we need to, um, anyone? I respect Nominate Fred Curry for the county, uh, county 55. Any other nominations? Okay, I'll make a motion to close the nominations. I second. Okay. Um, all those in favor of Fred Curry for the county 55, please uh, say aye. 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 Unanimous decision. So Fred Curry is now the uh, committee of 55 representative. Uh, the next order of business, I guess, is Risa, two representatives. So I'd like to open up nominations for Risa, two representatives. I'll nominate Carol Smith. Okay. Any other nominations? Steve? 
like to close? I'd like to make a motion to close the nominations. I'll second. Um, all those in favor of Carol Smith and the recent two representatives, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? I think we have a unanimous vote. So, Carol Smith is now on appointment for recent. Okay. So our next order of business. The adoption of the 2010-2011 board meeting schedule. Separately as well, right. uh, Mrs. Smith is saying that we go oh, through okay. each one. Okay. And, and this all becomes familiar to you. And okay. Right. And you can that. have a choice instead of reading it. You could just simply say, "A." Hey, is there any questions for A? Hey, is there any questions? Is there any questions for the? Um, I just for the adoption of the plan. Yeah. So this is really a, an administrative item and not under organization board. Correct. Under four is administrative, which is different than number three. Whole oh, different category. Is that what you're asking? Well, I mean, when I look at the way we're set up here, you know, it looks like it, it's it's set apart because it precedes administrative. Right. So all I'm saying is it really it's it's, it's, it just needs to be scooted down and be a part of the administrative. There, it's one of those rather than under organization board. Roman numeral three. Organization board has B oh. adoption of the 2010-11, and really, I guess you could go ahead and adopt the schedule. I'm just then go before it, to follow the agenda would be correct. That's what I was saying. So, so we're okay. either way, I just yeah. want to clarify that would be correct. So uh, again, I apologize, but B, if you go ahead and, and vote on B, and then go to four. Okay. So uh, I was going to see if. Um, if anybody's had a chance to look at the 2010-2011 uh, meetings, if anybody has any comments regarding the schedule. Actually, Grant has sent it to us before. Has it changed any from mm -hmm. that number? No. Well, uh, I know you don't have it. What? Uh, other than yeah, we got it. Well, I got it a month ago or something. Yeah. Not much has changed. Um, well, I would like to. I'd like to point out some of the times. I mean, I know five o'clock is. I think it, it's convenient for some people, um, and I was talking earlier. Um, if I was thinking maybe if we could actually move the time back a little bit, maybe to six six thirty, it would give it would give people uh, an opportunity to actually come to the board meeting, um, and it would probably be more convenient um, if you're if you're getting off work maybe at five o'clock, or most I mean a lot of people do get off work at five o'clock. One of the things that we could do, and of course I'm, I'm an early bird, so I'm going to present a different perspective. Two things. One is that you could move your uh, agenda items, I mean your uh, board delegations to be heard to the end, which give them time to arrive. Secondly, on uh, local school improvement councils and when we move around to schools, having it at the uh, later times is not teachers will not stay and participate because as you well aware they right. get up early. So just a food for thought, not disagreeing or anything. I understand. Food for thought. I would like to say something 